university. Now you can now you connect it again to your career goals. Again, you have written your purpose of what you want to do. This is where you repeat that this is how the process will take you closer to your goal of life. And that goal of life is going to impact positively towards the whole world. And then in conclusion, you should probably talk about uh, why you are the best fit for that university as well. Can we have the next one, please? Next slide, please. Okay. So once you have written this, once you have written this essay, this completes your essay. Once you have written this essay, you must sound, your statement should not be too formal or too informal. Don't say, hello, I hope you are doing well. How are you doing? I am writing this from this side. No, my name is so-and-so. I am writing from this country. Your country is very beautiful. Please don't be informal, humorous, or don't be too formal and too boring as well. So whatever statement that you have made should be your English because and not somebody else's English. Don't cut, paste, and put it. So when you look at the, actually, when the, People are reading on that panel, they are going to read your inner meaning, your intent, your purpose, your near, what is the purpose, what is your intent of writing that. So they are going to be able to, from that essay, find out that are you really keen, are you really motivated to join this program, are you, do you have a purpose, do you have a goal in mind, are you self-motivated, do you have any competence. Are you, do you have a potential to share your learning? Do you, are you coming with something from this country, from the country of your origin? Or are you just coming blank and totally waiting for them to, um, you know, talk to you? Then talk about what you are going to do. Write in an active voice, not passive voice. I was mad to complete my, my uh, uh, O level. I was forced by my parents or I was forced to complete this because I had not made up my day. These are passive things that were done onto you. You don't want to write that. You want to make it into an active that you made some decisions. You even changed your decisions. You took this course, you did. So I am going to do this. I did that, I did that. Not somebody else did it for me. It should write as a story that demonstrates that sometimes you had a positive experience you also changed your decision. You also uh, started to, you know, uh, learn, get negative experience, which also made, you know, got you disappointed or whatever. So make it a story of your life. And you may also add that there were obstacles. Maybe you have you failed earlier. You were not able to do it. So then you also express that though I had appear uh, applied to or I wanted to do this, I was unable to do it. And in the uh, other, in, during this time, I am further continuing to do some other program, but I want to go back to continue with my ambition. And therefore I'm trying again. So don't be afraid to write about your uh, preserve, uh, about your why uh, reservations or your obstacles or some failures that you may have. Don't be afraid to do that, but don't write about your stories of failures and try to gain sympathy. Don't try to gain sympathy. I am very poor and I come from a very poor nation and we are, don't try to gain sympathy, but they may have some difficulties you may have faced. It is okay to say that despite that I, I appeared in, uh, I was following this path, I had to deviate, I did something else, but I have still realized that my heart lies in the same thing. And therefore, I want to continue to do that. So demonstrate a continuous process. Next, please. Next, please, slide. Okay, so these are your do's and don'ts. We have actually gone through have uh, the whole writing process. And then there are some common mistakes that we make. So please ensure that your do's and don'ts are, are there in front of you. 
keep a journal or keep a record of whatever work volunteer experience you are doing and you should fit it into your paragraph whenever uh, wherever there is space to do it use simple english don't write jargon english because those who are sitting there may also be using english as a second language so there are international audience with whom you are writing to so kindly write simple which everybody can understand and don't try to use difficult go to the thesaurus and pick difficult words and all that kindly don't do that write simple english which all everybody can understand whether they are from africa asia in europe or whatever country they should all be able to understand the same english and the same word make it simple use plain white background do not and give your your complete picture as i say you may talk about your strength what is it you have what is it that you want to learn some weaknesses and what is so unique about you and that unique is your purpose don't forget your mission your mission is your purpose your purpose you are doing all writing writing because you want to achieve your purpose and that is your uniqueness so don't try to find some other uniqueness that i am a very unique uh, person i uh, can write poetry and i can write this if it is not relevant to your purpose please avoid it then once you have written take feedback don't be afraid to take feedback don't think they will criticize it is okay take the criticism at a positive way and if you don't like it don't write it don't change it you don't have to take all feedback feedback and incorporate it you may at least understand some other perspectives but if you think that that perspective is enhancing you can continue to change if you think that perspective is not and you want to stick to your own uh, writing do that but do take feedback from at least three feedback from your colleagues from your teachers and from others who you think are learned in that write rewrite edit till you are satisfied do not give false information do not write casual hello hi i can come from Uh, pakistan i come from nigeria i come from sudan our country is very this and your country no please don't be um, uh, don't be uh, informal be very formal do not use colored pages do not exceed the word limit and again as i say take feedback do not copy paste from the internet so this is where we want to finish actually and i want to take you to a word document can we stop here or can we go to the next slide please can we go to the next slide okay now this is your post questionnaire you know what is an sop now somebody answer me mansoor yes ma'am <laughs> do you know what your sop is now Yeah. yeah. And has it yeah, cleared your has it cleared your mind from what you started and what you ended? Um. So um. S O P is a short easy where you explain what you want to study. Yeah. At a, so at a particular yeah at a particular absolutely. university. Yes, absolutely. One, so yeah, and what your goals are. Uh, yes. It helps. It helps the university understand your motivations and aspirations. Absolutely, and it is not something that you can copy paste. It has to be yeah. you, okay? And yeah, you know yeah. how? What is the so Raj, uh, uh, Rashad Ahmed? Do you know the format of writing an SOP now? The margin should be what? Huh? Yes, the margin uh, uh, must be. Uh... Uh, one inch. Yes. And the spacing is one point five. Five. The word and, limit. Uh, word limit is two, between five hundred to one thousand, but some universities uh, also no. specify six hundred to uh, six hundred twenty. Yes, some universities will tell you. So always look at yes. what they want. If they are asking you write a uh, statement of purpose of six hundred and twenty words, then six hundred and twenty words. It does not uh, mean six hundred and twenty. At least two. Uh, at least uh, um, uh, two uh, pages, not more than. But uh, we should try 
to uh, my best to write uh, one and a half page. Yes, excellent. Try to write one and a half because they have millions of uh, SOPs. So you just want to make a very specific um, and readable kind of a length. And the font size is? Uh, uh, 12. 12. Times, okay. And so what is the difference between yeah, yeah. your statement of purpose and the personal statement? Uh, is there a difference hello? between? Yeah, is there a difference? Can somebody answer? Is there a difference between the statement of purpose and a personal statement? Is there a difference? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so Harris, can you tell me, is there a difference between a statement of purpose and the personal statement? Yes, ma'am. We we write a personal statement for the undergraduate program. That means yes. we, we yes, when we want to enter to the undergraduate program, uh, program, for example, for college or for university or this stuff. And if you want to join for uh, a graduate, for example, for uh, MA program or maybe for a PhD program, we, we write a soft for that. Yeah, but what is the difference? The personal statement will talk about you, your aspiration, your dreams, your achievements. Everything is about personal, about yes. yourself. Okay? Yes. Whereas yes. your statement of purpose is about your ambition, about your purpose and less yes, about you as a person. More about your purpose. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, and the, yeah, yeah, and and the other the soft the soft is cover all uh besides our ambition, uh, it's cover our uh, per, uh personal experience, uh why we are choosing uh, the university or maybe the institution, and um, what's our future goal, and if if we want if we cover for example for a two half for two year uh, uh an MA degree so. What will the be will be the out outcome of that? So the soft will cover all these stuffs. And absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And how and why? Because you are the buyer, you are buying yes. this program. So you have to choose, pick and choose. I like this because it is fitting this. I like this color. I like when you go to the shop, you look at the thing. I like the company. I like the quality. I like the color. So here also you have to examine the program fully. And they should yes. know that you have examined the program and you know what they are selling and you are ready to buy this because this is going to be, uh, this is going to help you fulfill your dreams your purpose your uh, per, uh, objectives in life right yes ma'am yes yes so let's take the um uh, let's can you close this at the moment and take me to the word document that i had sent you on how to write there are some questions here there are some question and answers that i want to go through with the participants Okay, so let's look at this in order to summarize what we have just talked today. Can we just look at this state, this paper here? And this is also uploaded and will be shared with you if you ask the admin. So what is the statement of purpose? We said it is an statement of intent. What is your niyat? What is your intent? What is the purpose? You want to take that admission. You don't want that admission to run away from your country and take and stay back there. So you, even if that is your purpose, you are not going to write it. You still have to make a purpose in life. Then why is the statement of purpose such an important document? What do you think? Why is it such an important document? Even they have your academic records, they have your grade records, they have everything. They have your uh, biodata, they have your letter of 
support from the university, still they ask you for a statement of purpose. And it is the most important document because it is going to influence the decision of giving you the admission or not. Even if you are an A grader and you have done very, very high, but your statement of purpose is not good enough and does not um, convince them of your intent, of your purpose, then you will be rejected. So the most important, 90% important document, 90% decision of your admission is on the admission council and who is studying your SOP. Your other documents are supportive to that SOP. You understand? Sometimes we feel, oh, because I've done A and I've done outstanding in these subjects, I am going to get an admission. It is not so. The statement of purpose is going to get you the admission. Your other performance is going to be your supportive. As I told you, para one, your para one statement is most important. The following other paras and other documents are supportive to that uh, purpose. So that is why it is the most influential document for your university. Can we raise, a, raise this up a bit? How does the SOP impact the decision maker? So how does the decision maker, the panel which is reading your, your, your story or your statement of purpose is going to see where is the intent? Is this per person really talking sense? Does he want to come here to study business management? And does he really want to go back and start a business? Does he have any past experience? Does the country need such a business? Do that country that he's coming from want such people? So the intent has to be factual. If you are saying you are going to make a business on a mining and your country has no mining uh, possibilities, then your intent is false. So your intent has to reflect back to what is the requirement and what is in what is possible with your uh, qualification. Then does your selected pathway, the experiences, the journey that you have put down, is does that reflect that you have been making slow and slow steps towards achieving your uh, goal or are you still jumping in, like a jumping jack or are you just making a decision because that is what was available in the country or that I got the admission because uh, that was the only program being offered. These are the statements we should not be saying. I, I just got admission because that was the only program that was being offered. No, you have to make a purpose from the program that was being offered. So from the whole program that was being offered, I chose this program because this uh, XYZ course was bringing me into the intent, closer to my intent. And this was the only program in the country that I could do which was closest to my purpose. So you will have to show your pathway and then your future that you have talked about is also going to tell them whether you are actually uh, a person with some mind, with some goals or with some ambition, or are you just not just taking the admission for the sake of. So this is the decision maker is going to read the whole story. And these three things, your intent, your story, past and your future are going to make them say yes or no. Then, as I said, how can the SOP add value? Sometimes you don't have very good grades. You have a C and you have a B and you have a, a minus B or, you know, it is okay. Sometimes you have seen that people who were not very good academia, they may have only Bs and Cs, but get an admission while somebody who's done an AAA has not got an admission. It is because... This is not where they are concerned about. They are concerned about your life goal. It is not an academic goal. It is your life goal. I want to come first in class was when you were in primary, when you were in nursery. I want to come first in class. I want to stand the highest in class. I want to please my teacher. I want to get A grade in the, her subject. 
No. Now you may have tried, you have acquired some skills, you got a B grade and you still want to do uh, uh, pursue that same goal, same program because your purpose in life is where it is. So your SOP will add value, will increase the weightage of your, of your grades. So despite you have had lower grade, don't be afraid to take that part of your choice because it does not matter if you are truly your heart is there and you want to become what you want to become, then write your SOP and that SOP will lift up your value and you will still get an admission. And it will show that despite your uh, failure or despite your um, not so not able to do so well, you are still courageous and you have a strong will and you want to do and you want to achieve. That shows your personality. So go ahead for that. The fifth and the last one is what are the components of the SOP? Once and for once again, I'm going to revise four or five paragraphs are required either four or five paragraph. First paragraph, introduction of your purpose. Second paragraph, you write your academic background, your professional experience. In here, you can write about your community involvement, everything. In your third paragraph, you are going to write about your pathway, your experience, your career, and you are going to talk about why their program is supporting your, your goal why their program is supporting your goal. You are not there to enhance their goal. You are there to enhance, you are not there to enhance their goal. You are there to enhance your own goal. So what is it in their program, their professors, their course, or because it is a co sometimes it is a co-op program in which they also give you practical experience. So if you are doing business management, you want to go into a co-op program. Sometimes you have dual certification program, so you want to go for... So all this in your third paragraph, you are going to write that your pro program is help, will help me achieve my objective because of so and so. And the last fourth para, if there is a fourth para, can we go down? Yeah. The fourth para is your conclusive in which you have to end in a positive manner and you have to say that I am aware that it's going to be a new country, new program. It's going to be, and there are not many things that are going to be same as to what I have been learning, but still you are ready to take the challenges and to um, fulfill your desires and you will work your uh, work very hard and that you will be a contributive uh, student, uh, you will be a contributive learner because you will bring along some uh, your, of your own experiences and hopefully you will be an active participant in that program. So in the end, write positive that I am willing to learn and I also know that there will be challenges and I'm ready to face the challenges maybe whatever new skills of learning are not easy. So these are new challenges and you are willing to do that. So this is your revision. This is your end. Um, that's about it. And these are again some guidelines uh, that I've just noted. It is also on academia.edu. It is uploaded. It is probably also be shared with you if asked for. So that's about it um, from my side. If any questions, I'm happy to answer and your comments. Yes. No comments, ma'am. Have you learned anything? Was it worthwhile? Yes, ma'am. So ma if you uh, yeah. One Go thing, uh, one thing that I want to uh, uh, say to here, uh, I think uh, they want us to write us up that they will evaluate us uh, about that. Uh, maybe there is something on our paper. Maybe we have something on our paper, but they want to know what is our animal's feeling and what's our uh, desire, animal desire uh, that uh, they yeah. want me, we want to choose, for example, this institution or this uh, program for study. I think Absolutely. focus for this purpose. 
Am I right? Absolutely. They want to know you as a person. They want to uh -huh. know, are you a good person? Are you a yes. good... You know, this is what they are interested in. They, It is okay. The program is good enough. It, the money is also good. But they don't mm -hmm. want people who are not committed. They don't want mm -hmm. troublemakers. They don't want troublemakers. They want, don't want people who will come and get lost in their countries. Or, so they don't want those kind of troublemakers. Or they don't mm -hmm. want people who are not serious. They want to be make a name. They, go, they You have to understand that is a business that of education and in education their credibility is very important so yes. if that university is bringing out students of caliber and are bringing out scholars and contributors it is also giving credibility to that university but if it is only bringing people who are not contributing anything if the university will not make a name there will be no credibility of that university so yeah they, they will be discredited are, yeah so they want good mm -hmm. people they want good mm -hmm. people besides the sale of their program. But you know that um, it is very, very important to showcase your person as a person and to mm -hmm. tell that you are meaning to do it. You are there. You are on your path. You are doing your purpose. You are working, you are working on your journey. So it's very, very important to do that. Mm -hmm. By Thank the way, you, I just want to offer that if anybody wants your uh, SOP to be edit, edited or you want to get your statement of purpose to be, you can send them off to me and I can uh, give you my feedback on it via, of course, the uh, Mahin uh, and uh, I can do that. Okay. The, any other questions? Ms. Asma, I will what? share these two documents with them and your email address so that they can directly yes. approach you. And Absolutely. yes, uh, they will uh, make sure, please, you tell them where you meet her so that she know from where you are actually involving, you know, with her. So that's easier for her to communicate with you. And please write in the subject, what's the matter? And then, of course, it will be easier for you, you guys to communicate. All right, Ms. Asma, over yeah. to you. Okay, so that's, that's it from me. Any feedback, any, how do you feel? Do you feel... Uh, equipped with new knowledge do you feel that this was a helpful session or, or uh, what have you what how are you feeling people i'm really happy miss asma you cleared one thing that when yeah. you're writing sop you don't have to gain sympathy you need to you know show your vision Absolutely. yeah because Absolutely. the sympathy sympathy is not the way to win win the ground you need to yeah win the ground with your vision, what you really want with your passion. Mm -hmm. So this is very one big element which most of the students, you know, is are missing. They think sympathy will, you know, gain some opportunity, but it's actually mm -hmm. otherwise. Exactly. See, the world has changed. Uh, the world has changed. We want healthy people physically and mentally as, as well. So we don't want miseries coming into from other country come to other countries you know yes. we are a happy country if that's a happy country and you take in miserable people who are already uh, you know uh, miserable in their own country why would they want you there they don't want sick people they don't want sick poor people <laughs> they want healthy people who will be contributive to their society yeah. so there is no nothing like uh, uh, sympathy gaining sympathy it's uh, not good uh, everybody has uh, uh, something to contribute to and you should just stick into what you can do even if you just want to be um, a chef then also this is a contribution to how uh, you're going to you know uh, work out your recipes or make food more nutritious and healthy for the people so that's a purpose isn't it yes and Ms. Asma I would like to add one more thing if you could please elaborate them that whenever we moving towards academic scholarships or academic yeah. or, or other way around. You know, you just want to do postdoctoral, you want to do you know, postgraduate, anything. But you know, the two grounds that is the religion and politics should not be discussed. Absolutely, absolutely. If you're, uh, and this is a very important point that if you are coming from wherever, if your purpose is to be to study political science, it is because you have a purpose in that in that perspective. You have a vision of 
what you want to achieve in your political career and not being impacted or driven by politics in your country or uh, some from or you are association with a particular political party that does not work if you are taking a political science it is because you have a political vision a political pathway which may or may not be um, similar to what is in your country and usually you don't want to talk about your country politics you don't want to talk about your uh, really uh, religion and your um, you know ethnicity that does not matter at all for all universities globally there's only one religion and that is humanity and you should come up as a human being as a good person as a good human being with good qualities does not matter who you believe in or what your uh, religious affiliations are so please there is no need sometimes people ask me in my first paragraph or in the statement of purpose do we have to write your our name you don't have to write your name again i told you statement of purpose is your purpose no name no religion no political affiliation nothing of that sort purpose 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 what do you want to achieve in life and why this university is going to bridge provide that bridge for you is your purpose that's all you have to say sorry ma'am yes peep yes yeah can we have our sample of uh, uh, a soap for us uh, or for example the sample, written... the sample will be your writing you can send it to me and i can help you edit i can give you my feedback and once you have written that and you are satisfied that will be your sample okay, okay don't take okay. any other sample don't for, forget nobody is nobody is better than you you are the best and you are going to do it your way okay that's my that's my uh, lesson to you today do it your way don't worry don't copy just take help give your uh, reading once you have written it send it to people who you think are going to give you feedback and help you polish feedback, yeah. your english okay. or something like that okay 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 so yeah, please yeah. Don't, yeah don't try to take ideas from other places make it unique make it yours okay ma'am okay how uh, we will conduct uh, sorry ma'am yeah uh, my email uh, uh, mine is going to share you my email with you people and uh, you can write to me okay send me your paper your sop sop and i will edit or give you feedback not yes. edit yes e feedback. yes everyone in the P in the ppt the last slide in in that she has her information is given you, over there can you can you can yes. you show it on the screen yes please i am i am right now there you go so i would be sharing these details see over yeah. here, you can see the email address. No, next. Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. So you have questions. We have answers for edit, proofreading, technical feedback for your SOP. You may write to me here. Okay, that's it from me now. Thank you so very much. It's been a lovely uh, discussion and I've really thoroughly enjoyed myself. I hope it has been fruitful for you people and I would uh, uh, love it if you can send me more topics that you would want to, um, you want feedback or you want uh, to discuss will be good. Though I have things in mind myself but if you have something very specific that can help you you can always write to us and we can always set up a session for that thank you so so very much thank you Ms. Asma thank you very much for your time thank you thank bye you. all of you have a good day thank you thank you ma'am that was bye. so productive thank you ma'am thank you I hope yeah I hope it was good for you sure yes yes of course Okay. That was great. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.